Here we are for trip three of this bottle dump or tip. There's a variety of stuff. So you can see there's my first hole, second one. And after finding that little green poison bottle yesterday, I'm, I'm determined that I'm going to dig, try it up to maybe up to where that tree is, all this area here. Because there's more stuff under there, obviously. So, as always, I'll put the camera back on when we start finding stuff. But it's definitely another promising day today. So I'm coming out of a couple of finds now. Just stopped just to show you this interesting one. I'm not too sure what it is. It's got a hole at the top. Maybe it's some kind of... You know what, oil burner and it comes out the top, I'm not sure I think. No, not got a clue. <laughs> nice little thing though, I'm going to take that. And we're just getting some of the usual stuff, you know, like little paste jars, uh, sauces, that kind of stuff. I've got another one of those California fig syrups. But nothing, nothing else at the moment, but we'll carry on. So Lee's just digging this separate hole here now. We've, we've dug all this side bit out. Come up with a few good bits that I'll show you now. So we've got chest and lung mixture. Or it says or syrup, linseed and licorice. I don't know why it says or. <laughs> be used for two things, won't it? They used to use them for all sorts, didn't they? Ah, oh, maybe, yeah. And then it says C, Dutton and Sun Bolton. That's that one. We've got a nice, nice bluey purple poison, not to be taken. See the uh, design on that there? Have you got a bit of a. A bit of a pot, oh, oh yeah. I'd love to find a full one of them. We've got a few other little bits and bats. It's a nice little like orange coloured poison, not to be taken. Yeah, nice little spoon, it's got some markings on the bottom that I'm gonna check out later. This is a good one. Which side was it on? Oh there we go. Like a crest with a bird on. There's a bit That's of over hundred year ago. Oh nice bit of leather. Bit of leather shoe. Is there anything else coming up all all, like, As we get down, we're getting into all this stuff in it. I don't know what it is, it's like hardcore mixture. Yeah. But we're finding all sorts of like smash bits in it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a little mark on that, but I can't see. It says, I don't know, like a little... I don't know. Another thing is as well, I can't... I don't think there's any on the surface at the minute, but we're finding a lot, a lot of shells inside the hole. Nice bit of, bit of pottery. That's quite nice. There's another piece of pottery actually I wanted to show. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That's that one there. Durability, JHW and Sons, Hanley, England. Royal Falcon wear. Damn, a bit of coal, seen here. A bit of coal. Alright, we'll keep on digging. So that's us done for today. You can see the size of the hole that we've just been digging. We've started filling it back in now, but we'll finish it off in a minute. But uh, some of the finds that I'm not going to take with me, but I'll show you. It's an interesting one, it's got some kind of purple liquid in. Uh, just came across this one. It's got like the pattern like it's a poison bottle, and it does say something on it, but I'll have a good look at that when I get home. And we've got some paste jars, some beers, uh, some old like medicine ones. I think that might be a poison bottle, but it doesn't say anything on it. A few other bits and bats, but I'll get them all took home now, the ones I'm keeping and cleaned. And show you. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are again for uh, number four, instalment four of this little dig. You can see how we've left it from last time because I knew we'd be coming back, but that's all going to get taken out. Maybe even look underneath here. Now the reason I've come back here for the fourth time is because of the little poison bottles. I'm absolutely little brilliant finds. Been holding them like the little precious like golem. <laughs> so, so I know that there's definitely got to be some more or some, some similar good bottles around this area still. Because every time that I dig, I seem to find more and more. So, yeah, so I'm gonna, this is gonna be the last one on this little site, but I know there's gonna be some promising sites, some prom very promising bottles. What's that one that's just on the top there? I think it's one that I must have forgot before. Zoobs. Zoobs. I missed that one. Oh, I'm gonna take that one. I can't believe I missed that. It was right on top as well. I've got a few tablespoons there that I left last time, I just couldn't carry them in my bag, but it's like a two and a half mile walk here and two and a half mile back, so... But anyway, enough enough moaning, I'll get on with the digging and uh, I'll turn the camera back on when we're ready. So just a little update, I thought instead of carrying on over there for a minute, I'd just try here first. Just a little bit behind just to see if there's anything, but 
all the way down there's literally been one thing that's came out it's only about maybe three foot deep at the deepest but it's absolutely solid clay but then the only thing that has come out I was hoping it was going to be a full one because I first spotted that bit but there's the base there's the, the mouth kind of piece bit I've got a bit of writing this has probably got the most writing on I imagine that would have gone next to there to say to be returned a a uh, G L E A. I don't know what what it could have been. And there's the handle. Such a shame. But I think I'm going to just fill that hole in now because there's literally nothing else coming out of it. Not even broken pieces. So I might try a bit over there. I think. So I moved on to this hole up here. I just realised quite stupidly I forgot to film when I'd actually dig down because I dug about three, maybe four foot down there, and then I've just collapsed all the top into it. Sounds like there's a big helicopter going over. But I'll show you a few little bits that have come out of it. So we've got like uh, lion sauce. I've never seen that one before. It's a, it's a crazy one. It's all the way around it. This little black thing, it's not that old, but it says it in ecto. I'm going to take that just to do a bit of research on. It's quite an unusual one. All the way around the ridges. This is nice. Look at this one. I think that's I think that's George. I can't actually tell tell, but there's the uh, lion and the flags and the unicorn for Scotland there on the side. That's quite a nice piece. Shame it's not full, but that's an unusual one. I think it's like a light bulb, some kind of strange light bulb. I think. I don't know for sure. That's another Fletcher's sauce. It's got a bit of a label on the net there. Yeah. Uh, a few other little bits, still got a bit of label on. This is quite an unusual paste jar, but it's still got, you can just make out paste at the bottom there. Not a bad one though. And then I did have a clay pipe there, but as soon as I put it down, it just like exploded. But I'm going to carry on. I might leave this bit now because it is a, you know, it's, there's not a lot coming out really, but maybe. Where that pile is there, that might be the next step I think. So I started to get a bit disheartened with these holes, not much coming out now, so I thought the, the green bottle was like, I'll show you, probably directly underneath there, purple ones maybe directly underneath there, so I thought why not follow it along, and no poisons have yet, but there's some nice finds coming up. United Corp Dairies, and it's a full one, no cracks or anything, so that's a nice one. Rinse and return, you won't be getting that back. I've got my first boots, the chemist, you probably can't see that too well, but you'll see later when I clean it up. Uh, what else have we got? Elements, <sighs> embrocation, embrocation, I think it says, what the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, I think we've just got another, like a Heinz ketchup there, something like that. A bit of a, and a cup and a handle. Montague Burton Leeds. Supplied by Dudson Brawls LTD Hanley. And then there's like a little little medicine one as well, but just off them, just even that deep. So this looks like a promising hole, this one. I'm going to take it as far down as I can. Nice Fenning's Fever Cura. Well, that's a bit creepy. Ooh. Just a just a jar. A few bits of green pottery. And 
another lovely little piece of bone. <laughs> Found a lot of bone in here. Every time I've been. That's just an ordinary jar. Another jar, it's a bit of a fatter version. Oh, is that another one? Another one again, and something next to it. Oh, <laughs> baby's first donkey. That's strange, isn't it? Baby's first donkey. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Made in England though. So, baby's first donkey, eh? It's all just plain stuff that. Plain Jane. plain sauce bottle. It's on that all there for about an hour from when you last seen and then I've, I've filled it in now but found some other little interesting bits. That's a big piece, I don't know what the heck that is off. It's got to be on it there. Uh, some plain little ones. These are strange. There's so many of these cups. They're all from the same hotel. I can just find one that some of them say the maker, but then there was one or two that actually said the hotel. There we are. Grindley Hotel away. I can just hear a woodpecker over there. Oh, well it was. Yeah, Grindley Hotel where. And there's, there's loads of them smashed up. Smashed up. There's a couple of full ones, but I'm not taking them, obviously. <laughs> and then, I think the last... Oh no, well, I did get a br another Brill Cream. And then the last one was that, that poisonous one there. And it does have some... Let's see if I can just wipe that off. Tablespoon markings there. And San... San Eval or something like that. But as always, I'm going to clean them when I get in. I think I've, I've seen the end of it for today now. It's far too hot. <laughs> But I don't think there's much else here to be honest with you anyway. Maybe one of the other places, but you know, further down there or maybe on the mound at the top. But let's get in now, get them all cleaned. So here we go, the bottles are cleaned up to a certain degree, so I'll go through them with you now. So first of all we've got the United Cooperative Dairies LTD. It's in perfect condition, it just needs a bit more of a clean. UCD rinse and return. And that's that one and then we'll go to this one here and this one both poison bottles but as you can tell they're in they're in terrible condition that's been burnt that one that's just a clear one what says not to be taken on the side there this i'm not sure if this is like a little shot glass or it's an egg cup but i think it's something something along those lines little medicine one there alex parsons still had a bit of label left on those two green ones at the back are just Hot bottles but I like the colour so I just kept them. 
that's actually Freffles is actually a, a brewery. I found a couple of pictures of those. They were based in Manchester and Liverpool. So I'll show you them at the end. Got a few pictures of different of these different companies. Got a nice little perfume scent bottle. We've got this is quite a nice one. Doesn't doesn't need much research. Chest and lung mixture or syrup of linseed and licorice. Established over a hundred years. And then we've got C or it might be a G actually, sorry, G Dutton and Son Bolton. That's quite a nice one. Got this little beauty, not to be taken. I believe it's a blue cobalt bottle, but it does look like purple. But what I'm gonna do at the end, I'm gonna show you some of the pictures that I found that go along with these bottles and I'm gonna put that into the light so you get a good picture of it. <coughs> We've got there the Arrow Water, Liverpool and Manchester, that was a pop bottle, so maybe like Orange Aid or Cherry Aid, you know, something along those lines. This one was an interesting one. I couldn't find much about it online. I couldn't find a, a, an exact same one. Don't know where you're gonna pick that up there, but it says Osmond's Electrofluid. And it's got like the, the mark says if it's like a poison bottle. And I think that might be there because the only thing I could find that Osmond still make was an alpaca medicine, <laughs> which is supposed to re repl replenish, sorry, replenish salts, fluids, and energy. So possibly this was a, a later, an earlier version for humans, maybe like a, an energy drink. So I found another little, a little marble there as well. Let's put that in there for now. I did get the other one back. Uh, this thing, I literally have no idea what it is. Originally I thought maybe like a bit of an oil lamp in there and like a piece of cotton or something would come out the top and they'd burn it, but I just don't know what it is. If anybody knows, please let me know. Same with this thing, I think this might be off a chandelier. It's just an interesting piece, it's got cracks all the way down, but I just thought it was quite interesting. Got a nice little bowl there, a little pipe bowl. I think it's quite an early one by the shape of it. Nice one. And then we've got the Zoobs. Across there, and it says teaspoons. That is a cough syrup, like a throat medicine. It's quite a nice one. And then we're going to the Boots. Boots the Chemist. Chemists. That's quite an early one, I believe. That's from like the 20s or the 30s, that one. That's quite a nice one. So this is an interesting bottle. So we've got poisonous across the top and then tablespoon down both sides and Sanizel at the bottom. Now when I first took this, there was a piece of card across the top and when I pierced it to clean it out, well, to clean it to a certain degree, to get the liquid out of it, it smelled of like really bad terps or like a white spirit kind of substance and it left like a film across the, you can see there where the, the water inside is stuck to the sides like an oil inside. And the inter interesting thing about this is, is it, apparently it's a disinfectant and it was sold in hospitals and in shops and all that kind of thing and it's actually made from a byproduct of coal mining now the person who, who owned the company actually used to go to his local colliery and I don't know if I'm going to say this right but it's carbolic acid I think it's carbolic or carbolic acid and that's the byproducts of coal uh, also known as coal, coal oil and he would get that and he would mix it with some other substances to make a disinfectant or a soap as well he used to make soap as well and they also used to make, um, during World War Two. they made a toilet roll that was had Hitler's face on it, which I found was quite funny. Um, next we've got that little piece there. I do believe that's George V, who that is on the other side. I know it's terrible that I'm British and I don't know, but I just don't have a clue. Got two of the tablespoon ones again. And then we've got the Elements Embrication. Now I do believe that this one was actually used for horses and that kind of thing. I did find a picture online, that, <clears throat> like I say I'll put that on at the end. But it's like a muscle rub, muscle rub kind of stuff. And then we've got some kind of paste or maybe like a jam, little jam jar or something. But it just had a really nice design on it so I kept that one. Same with this one, I've just never found one of these before. It's a shipman's paste. I found a lot of other, other kind of paste jars but never a ship, shipman's so I kept that one. Now we'll go on to one of the last ones. <clears throat> so this one here, you can see the little crest on, it's got the bird and then hammers underneath. This is actually a French cognac bottle, this one. Martel's. I believe the bottle is about from 1930, but the company is actually one of the oldest in France. It's, it was founded in 1715. And this was actually drank at the coronation of George V. 
George III allowed this to come through a, a continental blockade that was on at the time. So you can just imagine how important this would have been throughout history. From 1715. It's like a flask shape as well. That's a nice bit of history in that one. And then just to finish off, we'll go with the two spoons that, that are found. One the third day and then one the fourth day. I believe it's this one where you could see, maybe not, maybe it's this one. Yeah, you could actually make out the stamps on the back. And when I researched that, I believe that at least that one, maybe not that one, I'm not too sure yet. I've got to wait for that one to soak. But that one is, a, is made by William Page in Birmingham in the late 1800s, about 1895. And what they used to do was, they used to take a base metal, I believe it's like a copper or something underneath there, and then they would put the silver over the top. And now obviously it's worn away, but it's still nice little finds to find. But then, yeah, so I'll show you the pictures now, what went along with some of these bottles, and I'll show you that purple one outside. So you can see in my hand there that it looks like quite a dark purple, but as soon as you lift it up, now you can see the blue. 